Hey, what's up, Gamers? Killer Mystic. I am here today next to the character Derek Blaze. As all of you know by now, Derek got to make a wish with King's Isle. And I have to say that as far as wishes goes, this was one of the most selfless wishes that I have seen in the Make-A-Wish program as related to King's Isle. Derek wished that people would help others, that the Team Up kiosk could be used for the good of less experienced or less leveled or less capable players in the game. And King's Isle, of course, honored that wish. It was a fine wish to honor. Here's <laughs> what I have noticed since this has happened, though. Like so many things, a good idea is, well, a good idea is only as good as the implementation. The idea itself, the intention, great. But what I've noticed with this Make-A-Wish thing, okay, for those of you who don't know, even though I'm pretty sure everybody knows, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna spit it out there, just keep everybody on the same page up to speed. If you do enough helping, of inexperienced players or other team players or what have you through the team up kiosk you can gain a really really cool mount and a really cool pet you earn a badge and you get a prize and all that is wonderful but this is what i've noticed the good intention is being used well just like so many things in this game get used it's being used very very selfishly a lot of players, and I have to admit, myself included, are power farming the team up kiosk to obtain these prizes. I, I personally, I don't really honestly care about the new mount, and the new pet is cool, but well, it's really a reskin of pets that we've had before. The only reason I, I am doing this is to make a video to show people what they can get, what they can do, and why they should help people. However, as I was saying, the team up kiosk is being power farmed for no other reason than to obtain the mountain pet and the badges. And I have heard this voice personally several times that once said player obtains this badge and mount and pet and whatnot for themselves, they have no intention of ever coming back to this team up kiosk again. That's kind of sad. You know, that, I, I have to say, that's kind of sad. It's very not in the spirit that the wish was made in. So, here is my proposal for the team of chaos. Hopefully, King's Isle, Tom, one of you guys, hopefully, is listening. Let's incorporate the team up kiosk with the daily quests. Let's start doing team up things that require a daily commitment or daily help. You know, not just a power farm where you can do this in 12 hours and get your pet and mount and say hell with it for the rest of the time, but a daily quest where, you know, th there's a mission that somebody has that they need your help on and you go and help that person once per day and you gain, it doesn't have to be a huge prize or even better, you know what? You can take that day's prize or you can cash it away as a token and save so many tokens for bigger prizes. Because I'm telling you right now, once everybody concerned gets their pet mount, the team up kiosk is going to go back to what it was. And I hate to see a good idea like Derek's go to waste. I really do hate to see that. I feel this is a good way to keep an original good idea going. Let's turn this thing into something daily to where there's more to gain because well, to be honest, people, not everybody, but most people are doing this just for personal gain. And that is, well, that's the nature of things. People do that. You can't really, you can't really beat people down because they want to get something for themselves. That's, that's who we are as human beings. Let's instead use that nature and continue to reward people for continuing to come back to the team up kiosk to help people. 
Now, the team-up kiosk does have, for those of you who haven't done it yet, I'm going to throw a few tips out there while I'm talking about this to help you guys out too. If you're going to team up kiosk and you're just farming, that's cool. If you're going there and you need a quest, by all means, the minute you do the team up, hey buddy, how you doing? <laughs> who is this person? I have to recognize him because he stopped here for a minute. That is Hunter Lifeplay. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, yes, Hunter, how you doing? Hunter must know that I'm making a, he must know that I'm making a video. That's all right, hey Hunter. I have all the speech bubbles and stuff turned off so he can't put a speech bubble up, but he must know that. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, the tips for the team up kiosk. If you're there and it's important that you get this quest done, it's important that you get help. The minute the counter starts and the load screen starts, hit your forward arrow key or your W key and make sure that you get into the battle in time. I myself am guilty of this. If someone takes two rounds to get into the battle, I'm just going to go ahead. Because, well, a one-minute battle shouldn't take five minutes. And I've noticed that a lot of other players are doing it as well. That's weird. Anyway, I've noticed that a lot of other players are doing this as well. If you're not there on time, they'll just go ahead and complete the battle. And if you're not in the battle in time, as you may or may not know, you have that 10-minute delay before you can team up again. So please make sure that you're on time. If you're going to be in there, if you're in there farming, or if you're in there, especially if you're in there because you need help with the battle, please, the minute that load screen starts, hit your W key or your forward key to make sure you get down into the battle circle in time. All right, another tip that I have noticed about this is, and this is especially for the Yuletide Feasting Hall. Guys, if you're going there looking for help, please, please have the decency to at least have a key. You may, I mean, you know, maybe you guys are doing gold and you only have a wood key. Maybe that's the case, maybe not. But please have the decency to have a key. I have noticed in this team up thing, people are teaming up not to do the quest because they need the quest, but they're teaming up to take advantage of other people who have collected keys, who have taken the time and trouble to collect keys to do this battle. I mean, I, I don't understand why people would do that, but it seems to be that that's what's happened. Every time I've gone to the feasting hall, the first thing everybody asks is, did you have keys? Do you have keys? Do you have... Guys, come with keys. Really. There's a difference between needing help with something and getting help and needing to take advantage of someone else's resources. It's it's not fair. I don't feel it's fair. And if you do that and don't even offer to have a key, I'm tempted to leave the battle myself. And I can understand why people would do that. So that's just a couple of, hey, you probably already know, but I've got to throw it out there because it's just the right thing to do, things to tell you. All right, anyhow, back to the original subject. I feel that the team out kiosk is a great idea but that if new and fresh stuff isn't added to it periodically, it's going to die back out again. And I hate to see that. Derek, you know, made a great wish. And I want to see that continue. Guys, what do you think about this subject? By all means, I would love to hear your comments. Go ahead and leave them in the section below in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good heart smash, subscribe, share, yell my name to everybody you know, because I would love to see more of you around here. As well, if you want to hang out, maybe, hey, maybe do some farming for the, uh, the team-up kiosk or farming a boss or going to Imperia to do Fight Club or any of those other things. By all means, come see me on Twitch. I stream pretty much every evening in the world. I start usually around 9.30 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. The link for my Twitch is in the description as well. I would love to have you there. And we have a great community on my stream, and you are more than welcome to become a part of that. Until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace.